The scope of this production is incredible. It all looks authentic. I couldn't really think of any other production or project which had been truly international in the way that the Mafia is. It's a global village, so it's, it's really about the breadth of this world. I own the port authorities, I own the police. In Mumbai, I'm God. We're in a lot of countries. We're in England, Croatia, Mumbai, Serbia, Moscow, Israel traveling around and trying to get the scale of the world, but also at the same time, the sort of intimacy, because it's really ultimately a family story. You know, in Russia, they call everyone a gangster. So what? Papa was a businessman. We feel the authenticity is really important on the show, and actually the locations give us quite a bit more reality. The point about global organized crime is, is that global organized crime is happening everywhere, so you can go wherever you want to. And we should have moved here when those thieves, they threw us out of Russia. Now, mobs are working like corporations and they're traveling all over the world and the triads are dealing with the Russian mafia who are dealing with the cartels. We wanted to locate it within London. As, as an anchor. And then obviously the world is about the Russian Mafia, so those are the, sort of the two anchor points. London gives us lots of scale. The backdrop is the high-end city finance and the well-to-do ex-Russian exiles who are living here. I thought maybe you were tired of being the English gentleman. We've shot at the v &A Museum at night, the Sky Garden, and all kinds of incredible locations. Don't worry about the bombs. It's a practice drill. My friends at the IDF warned me. We thought it would be very interesting to see how something that happens in Mumbai has consequences in London, in Moscow, and, and, and how the ripples of all these different worlds can feed into each other. Klimov and the Russian gangs have the backing of Vadim. Vadim has the backing of elements within the Russian state. Russia is central to the globalization of organized crime because when communism collapsed there, people got into any business they could. And these Russian groups became completely critical to the global spread of uh, organized crime. Prague is Vadim's entry point into the EU. Over half his business passes through this city. And then it's really about the interconnection of these different worlds, how criminality comes through Europe. So it was all as much as possible trying to be based upon truth. I want to move my product directly into Europe. That's what I'm so thrilled about this production, is, is it's really reflecting what it looks like in the real world. I thought they've got it. This is exactly what it looks like. Uh